Today you will be finishing your watercolor birch tree painting. You will need a brush, a water cup, a paper towel, and a set of watercolors. Your first step is to peel all of the tape off. You want to start it with your fingernail, peel all the way up to the top and over the edge of the back. And make sure that you also get all of the branches. It's a little tricky, so go slowly and don't worry if you tear your paper a little bit. It happens to everybody. Now it's time to paint. So you'll get your brush, dip it in water, dab it on the paper towel a little bit to make sure it's not too wet, and then you'll choose your color. You're gonna have to choose between black, brown, or blue, or a mix of all three. It's up to you. But you want your lines to be dark because on birch trees, they have dark lines across the bark. Then you'll get your paint, Test it on paper towel and then start painting your lines. They can be thin or thick. Put them closer together and further apart. You want them to have some variation because that's how trees are in nature. You may also want to outline your tree, especially where it is against the snow, so that it's really clear where the tree is and where the snow is. Using the same color you used for painting the lines, you can also paint a fence way in the background so that it looks like your painting has a lot of depth to it. You can even add some pine trees in the background so that it really has a nice Seattle Pacific Northwest feel to it. And here is the finished painting. You should feel really proud of yourself for having done this. When you're done, put it on the drying rack, finding the clip that has your class's number on it, and then put your brush and water cup in the sink.